Hey everyone, it is our last morning together before Christmas Day. And although I am so excited to celebrate Christmas, our last Advent lesson is such an important reminder. It's a reminder of God's love for us. Sometimes with all the hustle and bustle of Christmas, it's easy to forget the good gifts that God gave us in his son. The gifts that we've been talking about these past four weeks. Joy, hope, peace, and now love. For our lesson today, you're going to need a yellow piece of construction paper or uh, the Legos that were in your kit. And for the last time, here is our song of the month. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Jeff and this is Alyssa. We are so glad you are joining us today. It's almost Christmas time and today we're going to be learning about Christmas decorations, specifically the Christmas star. What do you think is the oldest of all Christmas decorations? Of all the things we use to deck the halls, what's the one decoration that we can trace back the farthest? It isn't Christmas trees. Christmas trees and wreaths are a fairly new part of our holiday traditions. It isn't silver bells or jingle bells or candy gummy bells either. It isn't tinsel or ornaments. It's not even Christmas presents, like the ones the Magi brought to the baby Jesus. Before the ornaments, before the gifts, before any other decoration, there was a star. 
The Bible tells us that God hung one special star in the sky to light the way to the manger. The Magi followed the star for many, many miles. The star led them to Bethlehem, where they found the baby Jesus. Stars have always guided people in the dark of night. Stars can light the way home when there are no street lights. Ships used to navigate the oceans using the stars as a map. It's no accident that God chose a star to be the light in the darkness to lead us to the manger where Jesus lay. God placed a star in the sky so the wise men could find Jesus. That doesn't just mean the magi who brought their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. God wants every wise man and woman who, know, who knows who Jesus is to find him. God wants us to find Jesus so he can save us from our sin and give us eternal life. Jesus came to be our savior, and in today's memory verse, he sums up his mission in the most famous verse in the entire Bible, John 3.16. Leon, where are you? Everyone is ready for the Chris, the big Christmas celebration. Is the star ready? Shh. Leon, everyone's ready for the star. What do I always tell you? What do I say? Tell you? What, do I say? what do I say? Come on, Leon. What? What do I say? What do I say? You cannot rush a genius. That's right. That's right. You cannot. Cannot rush Michelangelo. Michelangelo. You cannot rush Mike Awesome. You cannot rush Mike Awesome. You cannot rush Leon. You can't. You cannot rush Leon. Leon, the star looks beautiful. Uh, no. No. Yes, it does. It looks amazing. No, something is. No, something isn't right. Something's off. Something off. Leon, it's a star. It's not just a star. It's not a just a star. It is the star. It is the star. The star that led. The star that led. The wise man to the baby Jesus. The wise man to the baby Jesus. This cannot be simply amazing. This cannot be simply amazing. This has to be the most amazing star. This has to be an amazing star. Of all time. Of all time. Maybe if I rebuild the blocks. Maybe if I rebuild the blocks. With white blocks. With white blocks. Or maybe glow in the dark blocks. Or glow in the dark blocks. Leon, it's, it's almost Christmas time. There's no time, and the star looks great. It looks good. Um, looks good. It looks good. But it's not great. But it's not great. What will make it great? Nothing. There's not a thing I can do. Not a thing that I can do. I'll make it great. I'll make it great. Leon, how can you say that? You're a master builder. I'm only human. I'm only human. Nothing I can create. Nothing that I can create. I can equal what God created. No one's asking you to equal what God created. We just need a reminder about what God did for us. You are right, Abel. You are right, Abel. What is Christmas? What is Christmas? But a reminder. But a reminder. What the true master builder. True best master builder. Has done for us. Has done for us. He sent his son to die. Sent his son to die on a tree. On a tree. And he died. He died. So we could wash away our mm. sins. So we could wash away sins. And make us white as snow. Make us white as snow. He became the greatest Christmas present. He made us the greatest he Christmas present ever. ever. And what did he use to lead people to Jesus? A star. A star. 
Oh. A big yellow star. A big yellow star. Oh, what's it like? Oh, what's it like? Beyond. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. It will do. It will do. Let's not keep everyone waiting. Let's not keep everyone waiting. Help me out with this. It's a beautiful star, Leon. Even if you don't think so. No, it's not. No, it's not. But it reminds me. Uh, but it reminds me. Of the beautiful thing. Of the beautiful thing. Jesus did for me. Jesus did for me. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, April. Merry Christmas. Let's read John 3, verse 16 together. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. The entire Bible can be summed up in this one simple verse. God, the master builder, made our world. Sin came into the world and totally wrecked it. So God gave his only Son as a sacrifice for our sins. Jesus came to take the punishment of sin on himself so that we could have eternal life. Three weeks ago, the Christmas trees we deck in our halls reminded us that Jesus died for us upon a tree. Two weeks ago, we learned that because of Jesus' death and resurrection, our hearts can be made new. Our sins can be washed away, making us white as snow. Last week, we learned that Jesus is the greatest gift anyone could ever receive. This week, we don't just want to tell you about the package. We want you to open the gift. Ask Jesus into your heart and receive the greatest gift ever given. God put a star in the sky to guide us to Jesus. Jesus was a bright light in a dark world, and everyone who came to find Jesus when he was on earth was totally changed. Sinners, tax collectors, lepers, even the blind and disabled, they followed the star and then they were saved. It's a lot harder to find your way to the manger today than it was 2,000 years ago. The lights of Christmas have grown ever brighter. Instead of one bright star, we have millions and millions of twinkling lights shining from every tree. We have an endless stream of Christmas songs, Christmas movies, and Christmas specials clamoring for our attention. That doesn't mean we can't still find Jesus. Jesus is right here, right now with us. He's calling to all of you who have yet to receive him to open your hearts today. If you are ready to make that step, we'd love nothing more than to help you through it. Jesus is the greatest gift ever given. His love was given freely and everyone who believes in him will receive eternal life. There's nothing you can open on Christmas morning that can even compare to what God has given you. The star still lights the way. Jesus wants to be the light in the darkness. He wants to be your savior. Please talk to your parents today if you want to accept Jesus as your savior or with your parents, thank Jesus that he is your savior. Jesus is the greatest gift you will ever receive. Our memory verse today is part of John 3 verse 16. It says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Let's say it together. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Great job, you guys. Let's say it together with actions now. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Are you ready for an activity? Today, we're going to be building a star out of Lego. You can try and make it realistic if you want and make it out of yellow or white bricks, but feel free to be more creative. If you don't have Lego, you can make a star out of paper. Cut a star out of the yellow paper, get a parent to help you if you'd like. You can decorate the star using markers or crayons. If you have Lego, you can use Lego instead. Pause the video until you're finished making your stars. Before we go, let's take a few moments to pray together and thank God for sending his son. I encourage you to say the words after me. Dear God, thank you for giving us Jesus. Dear God, thank you for giving us Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. I want to wish you and your families the happiest and the merriest Christmas this year. This is such an important season to remember God's love for us. This is the end of our Christmas videos for 2020. Next week, we want to encourage you to watch church with your family and to do something special as a family together. From everyone here at Soul Kids and Soul Sanctuary, Merry Christmas.